Good morning. Uh, this is Chris. I'm the founder of uh, 400kfirst.com. I just want to remind everyone again, actually we're in a wonderful location here. North Carolina, you can see we've got a river going out. This is just kind of a nice little summer setting. This is the first day after the first day of summer, uh, June 22nd. And I uh, just thought I'd let the viewers take a look at this view here. Uh, I want to remind everyone the reason that I'm doing this is because there's uh, 386,000 kids born every single day. That's uh, 250 a minute, it's uh, 16,000 an hour, and I 400,000 K is just to round that off, but basically it's looking for stewardship for these kids. Um, today I want to talk about anthropology, which is kind of an anchor and gives us history to this topic I'm going to discuss. Um, in, um, <clears throat> when I was in graduate school in California, we were lucky enough, I had a professor come down from Berkeley, and he had been influenced by a professor up there by her name Ernest Becker. Ernest Becker wrote this book called The Birth and Death of Meaning. He also was a Pulitzer Prize winner for writing his book, Denial of Death. And both of these books, I can tell you for sure, this book shook up our classroom, turned things upside down. It was just unbelievably cool. And if you read the reviews of even the Den Denial of Death, people have the same remarks. His writing style was just it was really easy to read, a very knowledgeable guy. He was a uh, infantry guy in the Army, uh, came back, got his doctorate at Syracuse University. Um, a very contentious guy, was asked to leave, and then he came back. He went to Berkeley. Same thing there, he's contentious again. And a lot of it had to do because he was fighting for First Amendment rights with the students. He'd come back from Vietnam and so forth. Um, and, uh, the students were, you know, were, were acting at this during the Civil Rights period. Anyway, um, between the Bible, which I've been reading for the past nine years, and this book, uh, these are the two best books in my life I've ever read. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to discuss this. This is going to be a five-part series. So um, I'm going to end this now, and we'll begin uh, part two in just a minute. Thank you.